best thing I like about Urana is that we have a small school and everyone looks out for each other. I like living in Urana because it's a small country town and you know everyone that's living in Urana. And I like looking at the old pubs and all the old stuff here and I think it's quite nice to look at all the stuff from the past. great on the weekends when the weather's good and fine. We just love coming out here for days. It's just a great activity and every weekend we can. We love to come out here and just muck around. I'm Jasper and I'm 12 and I love coming out here because it's a great place to take your friends for the weekend. I'm Tom and I'm 16 and I love coming out here because you get a good long run. You can spend day after day here and never get sick of it. Uh, we've been wakeboarding for about five years and the best part about coming out here is there's very long straights. Oh, there's probably about ten boats at a time come out here. And it's awesome because every Easter it's just chockers. Oh, everyone in town sort of knows where it is and anyone who asks about it, they'll just tell you. It's also really pop popular around Wagga because all those boys come out here and have a good time. Urana's a really good place to be if you like dirt bike riding. We go out with our friends a lot and find some new tracks. My friend Andrew likes jumping, I just prefer to ride fast, as fast as I can without falling off. Hi, my name's Jess, I'm 17 years old. I've lived in Urana my whole life. I grew up on a farm so I got used to riding dirt bikes and getting sheep in it. Yeah, there's lots of cool tracks. Down the paddock there's some jumps and you can tear around and try not to hit things and yeah, it's good fun. I'm pretty much the only girl in town that does it. Yeah, I just usually go out with the boys. Nah, the boys are pretty good. They always encourage me and I learn a lot from them, so it's really good. Yeah, being the only girl riding around with a bunch of boys, it's not too bad. They encourage me and I learn a lot from them. I try to keep up with them, so it's all good fun. Well, growing up in the country, you can learn how to ride a motorbike and learn how to drive utes and tractors, and in the city, you don't have that advantage. I reckon it's better growing up in the country because you like to learn how to drive tractors and utes, and you probably learn things that um, like kids who live in the city don't have the opportunity to learn. I'm Carla and I'm Megan and we've grown up on a farm basically our whole lives. The best thing about growing up on a farm is that you can ride your motorbike and drive utes and tractors. What I do around the farm is I shift sheep and help around the house. On the farm I help with moving sheep and driving tractors and moving the utes and this morning I was helping dad with the tractors. I help a bit around the house. Living on a farm is good because I live close to all my, to most of my family and it's good because you can, um, like you can get together and see each other a lot. Kids, they've learned a lot, like they um, learn the respect of machinery and uh, probably animal welfare as well on the stock side of it. We enjoy teaching them and we get the benefit back from, um, from their understanding of, you know, of life in general, of farm life in general. Hi, I'm Michael Dorr from Urana. Uh, Springfield's owned by our property, uh, about 2,000 hectares.
I think it's great that they can learn and um, be responsible without being put too much responsibility on them, but um, to be responsible at that age. And uh, I think they learn and we get a lot out of it too, so it's, it, it works well. I've lived here all my life and I live in town, on the very edge of town. Hi, my name's Joe and I'm 11. When I ride my scooter, I like riding it because I can get some fresh air and I normally ride it around the block or on weekends I ride down to Landmark to see my big brother. living in the country is that you can look up at night and see all of the stars and it's really beautiful. Hi, my name is Olive and in my spare time I like to climb trees, jump on trampolines and ride bikes. Uh, growing up on the farm, the isolation is uh, a fairly big issue of it. We're, you know, five k's from probably the nearest farmhouse. But again, with sport in town and school, they uh, they do learn to react not hour to hour, but you know, day to day. They're they're mixing with people, or uh, you know, especially with footy training and uh, football on Saturdays. They're they're still very interactive. Having the, having the football and netball clubs here in, your, in Yorana and the Oaklands are important for both communities. So I'm, yeah, I'm Brad Kenny and I'm the um, assistant coach of the under 14s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every weekend we have a match and so we travel almost an hour to most games. I'm 12 years old, my name's Henry Dorr. I've been playing with the Billabong Crows for seven years. I started when I was four and a half, so I play full back. So I'm one of the um, big defenders, so I enjoy playing back line. Yeah, Henry's our uh, back pocket full back, and he's a um, good kid, pretty hard at it. Yeah, he's, um, yeah, he goes real good. It's just full on, like on a Saturday morning, there's a heap of people here setting up, and then we, yeah, we run kids, we run kids footy, then, then the 17s, second grade footy and then seniors and then we run an odds kick program at half time of the seniors so, and there's, I think they've got six or seven netball sides as well so yeah it's a pretty hectic day, it's flat out here most of the day. Bill on Crows, it, it's Urena and Oakland's combined so we've been together for 10 years so um, I've learned a, a fair few mates, like twice as many mates being the two towns, yeah just hanging out with your mates and it's just a good game to play. The more time you spend with each other, the more you get to know each other. Netballs and football are really important to us here. It um, creates a sense of community and it really brings the young kids out of their shell and um, gives them interpersonal skills. They learn to communicate and work as a team, which they can use anywhere. And, and netball provides that outlet from school, from work, really giving them the opportunity to have a bit of fun, play with your friends. I'm Ebony Goldsack, I'm coaching the 14 and unders at the Billabong Crows. I've been coaching this team of girls now for three years. Um, we actually had a successful year last year and won the Premiership, and this year we're two from two, which is fantastic. They've made the step up to the next grade um, and still proven that they're a strong team and can work together and get those two wins, which is great. Leah's a beautiful young girl, nice and quiet. She's my quiet achiever on the court, and I've given her the captaincy this year. Um, which is really starting to bring her out of her shell. Um, she helps direct a lot of the play. She plays through the centre court, which is awesome. And as a, as a leader, really helps the younger girls too, because we have quite a few that are, are the younger age group of my girls. 
Um, so Lee's been a part of it the whole time, which is fantastic. I love coming down and playing on the nice courts and catching up for your friends. Hi, my name's Leah Dore and I'm 13 years old and I play for the Billabon Crows. I normally play centre. The best thing about playing with the Billabon Crows is because it's really fun and you get to catch up for your friends. When the town got flooded in those times, it was amazing that the fire trucks were out and the rescue vehicles. But all these kids in the area at that, that age, they were on those vehicles, uh, rightly or wrongly, but they were filling sandbags, they were you know, wading through water. The, the amount of help that those probably 15 or 20 kids did in that town um, community was unbelievable. In my time here, the local kids have had to deal with a number of different things. One being the floods, where it was amazing, they pulled together, they helped sandbag, they went to different people's houses and did what needed to be done. When the floods happened in 2012, just walked around and then thought I would take some photos for future reference. Yeah, I just thought people would like to look back on what happened. My name's Melinda and I'm a local teacher in the area. The beauty of coming to Urana 10 years ago is that I got to work with an awesome bunch of young people. So they are hardworking, they're resilient, they do their best and they, they interact with their community regularly. It's like a whole big happy family out here. This year we held the first ever youth fete and everyone had a really great time. Hi, my name's Amy. I'm 14 years old and I've lived in this area for four years. There was a jumping castle. There was show bags held out that I arranged for free. There was popcorn, little get arena games, sports arena, and a dress up booth and a haunted house. We had small competitions, wee competitions, sports competitions, jumping castle, nerf war, which I was organising, face painting, there was a clown, and we had the pet show, the fashion show. There was lots of pets there too. There was birds, cats, dogs, even a horse. Hi, I'm Lim. I'm 12 years old and I've lived here for four, nearly five years. My part in the fate was to arrange the show bags and I also ordered the jumping castle. Probably the best thing that was in the show bags was the squeaky frogs because they annoyed the teachers and the little pamphlets that went out so you can enter like all different sports arenas, jumping castle. Well this year I organised the Nerf War which was a great success other than we weren't allowed to shoot people because um, it wouldn't get past the school regulations. But we did have a fun time trying to shoot targets and it was a great success. I was very passionate about doing it. I felt really proud of myself for achieving the show bags and organising the jumping castle because everyone enjoyed those two things. Some of my photos have been either entered in photography competitions or either entered in a book. Hi, my name is Ashley. I've lived here all my life. I'm 20 years old. I like to take photos. When I'm bored, I like to go for long walks into the bush and take photos of anything that captures my eye. I've taken photos of emus, kangaroos, sunsets, sunrises. The Urana Aquatic Centre is pretty good spot to take photos. There's lots of trees, water, bird life, quiet, open space. I really love photography and Urana is a great place to take photos. So um, when I'm not dirt bike riding I love taking photographs. I grew up on a farm so I used to take a lot of photos of the landscapes and sheep, animals and dogs and whatever I could. 
Um, now that I live in town, I still like to take photos of the landscape and I took some pretty cool photos of the hail when we got hail here. Um, the dam's a pretty cool place to take photos. Yeah, there's a lot of cool places around Yorana. Well, I've entered some photo competitions around school and places like that. So yeah, there's some good opportunities to show your passion for what you like doing. Um, even though we might have small schools out here and low student numbers, kids are still diverse. They're still interested in a range of things. We might have the broad spectrum of those who are academic. We have some students who might come in from a farming background who love to go out and dirt bike ride. We've also got kids that might come in who are really into video games and they've been up all night playing video games. I like to game, that's what I do for my pastime. The good thing about gaming is you can go online, meet heaps of new people, play against people from other countries or towns or cities or states. Hey, my name's Lee, I'm 17, I live in Yorana, a small country town. I've been here for roughly 12 years. I have always been playing games all my life. It's a good way to pass the time and it's good, I believe it's good for character development because the heroes of the games kind of you can relate to and express your feelings more and all that. This has enabled me for my idea on the YouTube channel that I have proposed to my mate and we're talking about and deciding what gear we need. Our YouTube channel idea was to record our gaming and pretty much become YouTube famous, like not let it get to our heads or anything, but to deliver enjoyment, yeah, just deliver enjoyment, fun and open people's minds to the gaming world. Try and, yeah, open people's minds about it. need is there, they, um, they get in and have a go. They're a real good mob of kids, they're good, yeah. They are hardworking, they're resilient, they do their best and they, they interact with their community regularly. They're strong, they're resilient kids.